Hello, thank you for joining me. We've arrived at our second miniature railway on my challenge to visit every miniature railway in Britain. And we're currently on an old track bed. And if it looks familiar, that's because we are back at Rudyard Lake where we, where I made the video talking about this um, challenge that I was going to set myself on. So here we are, we're back at Rudyard Lake. They're running steam today and the loco is just here. run around its train. So as the loco goes and runs around the train, I'm just going to have a look up here. I'll just point that out to you. That loco there, that comes from the Isle of Mull Railway. Now I'll explain that. What happened was there was a miniature railway on the Isle of Mull. Now I did say part of the catalyst for this challenge and this series was because some miniature railways are closed. And the Isle of Mull is another one I never made it to. And I'm, again, quite disappointed because I always wanted to go there. But I didn't make it. So uh, what happened was people who set this railway up sold it and the people who owned the Isle of Mull railway because they were evicted from the site bought the railway is how I believe it happened so this railway was in situ they arrived all of their stock so there's loads of track stacked up and the idea is at some point they may extend down the track bed that way towards Leap so Leap may have two railway stations one day Churnit Valley Railway and um, the Leak and Rudyard Railway so if you have a look here these carriages which appears to be out of use at the moment. See how it says, the Mull and West Highland Narrow Gauge Railway Company. So that is the reason why they've got so many coaches at the moment, because they've all come from the Mull and West Highland Railway. So what I think we'll do now is we'll walk back that way. So another thing that we will do with this series, should a miniature railway change significantly or extend, then I'd have to visit it again. So. When this railway extends to leak, I'll be back here making another video. So this track around the shed would effectively become the new main line. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to walk up here and go and have a look at the loco and then and get on the train. And um, I may not film all of this one because it's quite a long ride, but um, well, it's over a mile up the lake and back. So that's just one direction it's over a mile so I shall film some of it film the best bit certainly film the run round at Hunt House Wood and then we'll come back here and maybe when the train departs on the next departure we'll walk up the track a little bit and we can watch that go by so we're just coming along the loco it's just up here Loco number eight, and she's called King Arthur. There we go. I'll do now. I'll just take a little walk around there. And by the way, that's the Radio Lake Rail's webcam. So if you have a look on YouTube. Right now, anyone watching that will see me making this video. So have a look on YouTube and you'll see the Rudyard Lake Railway's webcam. We've got a little level crossing here because when you drive into the car park, you drive up that slope and you go out that slope. So the gates come down when a train is due to pass. So that's looking up the railway that way, which we'll do in a minute, looking towards the station. This is also the site of the original Rudyard station when this was part of the um, leak to Macclesfield Railway. What we'll do, we'll cover that properly in the future. We'll do a whole series on that line. We get another view of our loco, and you can see it is an Exmoor railway built like this. I can see on the new train. We can have a steam guard. 
fairly soon as the poster shows on the 21st, 22nd of September. Might have to come to that. I'm not doing anything else. Let's have a little walk along here before we get on the train. Yes, please. Yes, please. Just coming down, there's like a little picnic area here. And you get quite a nice view over the engine shed. And um, you can't quite see it properly, but over there is my larder, because as I said, this railway you can get to by public transport, but on a Saturday, um, well, it's possible, but I just thought it'd be easier to come in my larder. I could have walked from Leek, but it's quite hot today, so... I didn't, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go and get on the train and um, continue vi the video from there. Now we've just stopped at the dam. We've just enjoyed the ride along the non lakeside section of the railway. So, from here, the rest to the rest of the line to Hunt House Wood, 
uh, train runs beside the lake. So there's the station main board, as I said in the video the other day, the dam. And if you have a look out there, you can see the small waiting shelter and the dam and the lake is literally just over there. So it's quite a nice, um, not bad accommodation for a miniature railway. We're inside, so if it was raining, we'd be um, you know, kept fairly dry. So it's really an all-weather attraction, this railway. I have come here on a rainy day and it is really something quite nice about just going along by the tra um, along the track bed by the lake when it's raining and you know it's um so it's, yeah, it's a lovely place this so what will happen now i think the train's about to go so i'll film the next bit of the journey through the cutting and beside the lake
that? Just departing the Dam station and I'm now sitting in one of the ex Mullen West Highland Railway carriages. It's um, quite interesting, a lot of people on the train, they all got off at the Dam, which I suppose makes sense. It's just, um, to me, I like to do the whole line, so I'm going to go and have a look at the Dam, but I'm going to walk back, so it means um, I'm the only person in this carriage right now. It's got these little top light windows, as you can see, which is quite cool. The other carriage we're in just had an open side or open door on one side. So we're nearly, we've passed the lake now, we're just running on an embankment past fields. We'll be back at Rudyard Station in a minute, so when we get there I'm going to go for a walk up the track bed, get a couple of shots of this loco, which is one of the, the ex and West Highland locos, and um, the other one from the Exmoor Steam Railway. So let's see where we go next.
So we've travelled up and down the Rudyard Lake Railway. We went out on Exmoor Railway built King Arthur and we came back with um, ex Mullen West Highland Railway Victoria. So it's been a great trip. I'm now just sitting on the edge of the cutting and um, I'm going to watch the last couple of trains pass by on their way back to Rudyard. So they're both currently at that end of the line. So I thought I'll end the video. The video will close with two shots of the trains returning back to Rudyard. So hope you enjoyed watching this trip as much as I did visiting Rudyard Lake Railway. And like I said, if you're in the Leak area, then do come and visit. And you can get here by public transport because there is a bus and you, or you could walk along the railway from Leak, which is quite a pleasant stretch of track. So can I hear a train coming? I can. So um, let's just watch the train go. And um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. But do come visit the Rudyard Lake Railway.